Hi, I'm Suzanne Lazier, and I'm the author of the Ether Chronicles series, which is young adult fairy tale steampunk. Uh, Innocent Darkness is book one of the series, and we're doing some behind the scenes uh, talk, talk about the book. So let's talk about Finley House. I know that a lot of you are disturbed or have questions or we're just kind of shocked about what went on at Nolly's Reform School in San Francisco. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Finley House is this reform school Nolly gets sent to after she crashes the flying car. It's masquerading as a finishing school for fine young ladies, but it's really a reform school for girls from the higher classes so that their families don't feel shame about their girls being basically institutionalized. Institutions in the Victorian era and insane asylums were not nice places and a lot of women were sent there for a lot of really stupid reasons. A lot of the things in Finley House aren't made up. They are taken from real things that I researched that I found out about how young women were treated in asylums in that era. A lot of the treatments at Finley House are actually based on real ways they treated girls and all those labels are real labels. Teenage girls were actually institutionalized for things like Noli and Charlotte were. For example, I'm Charlotte Wilson. What are you in for? Charlotte was dainty and pale, but something in her eyes made her look like trouble, as Mama would say. Girls like her always seem more fun. In for? Her legs screamed in pain. Noli eased into a sitting position, pulling her knees to her chest, wrapping her arms around them. Charlotte spread her hands. Everyone's in for something. Moodiness, willfulness, hysteria, nervousness. Those are the most common. We have one trouser wearer and a few girls who are overly independent or frigid. I'm an infomaniac. Nolly blinked at Charlotte, cheerfully labeling everyone as if going over the supper menu. I'm Nolly, Magnolia, Braddock, she said, and I'm a willful hoyden prone to youthful disobedience. Three labels, Charlotte grinned. I'm surprised it didn't start you out in isolation. Yeah, all those things, being overly independent, uh, being a hoyden, being willful, being frigid, those were all things that could land a teenage girl or a woman in an asylum. Uh, hysteria was another very common one. And then doctors would treat them. <laughs> the treatment for hysteria is uh, quite interesting. And uh, the isolation box that Noli gets put in, the sensory deprivation box, was some, another way that they actually treated people. There were also rotary chairs where they would strap you in a chair and spin you around to balance out the brain. Or uh, there were these giant sort of hamster wheels that they would have people walk on. These uh, were, were all ways they, they treated these labels, which, as Noli notes in the book, are hardly scientific. So, uh, yeah, it's not a nice place. Miss Gregory is awful, and so is the doctor. And uh, basically, I was trying to illustrate how girls were treated in that time when they were a little different from society. And going back to Finley House is something Noli continues to fe fear in Charmed Vengeance. And other people fear for her because you know, that was always something that women who were a little different kind of thought of in the back of their head was, you know, what if my family chooses to institutionalize me? And women didn't quite have the rights. I mean, your brother or your father could decide to do that. So um, this was something that was really real and yeah, it is disturbing. And I'd love to know a little bit more about what you think. And uh, you can do that at SuzanneLazier.com or you can hit me up at Twitter at SuzanneLazier. If you'd like to learn more about the Ether Chronicles books, you can visit the Ether Chronicles website at www.etherchronicles.com or you can go to the Ether Chronicles series page on Facebook. Um, thank you and have a great day.